。意思，今天要讲的主题在那边的 culture of sharing。如果有走错的，或者是你朋友想要听的，赶快打电话请他过来，好，不然等一下又没有座位，这是很糗的一件事情。好，那再来呢，我是这个。场子的一个 host， 我是主持人。那有几件事情，我们必须在这边跟各位说明一下。首先呢，第一个，嗯，<笑>哦哦，好。那如果你在听讲的时候需要随时上网查询资讯，请你查询一下你的相关的啊、呃，开启无线网路，追寻上你的 SSID。哦哦 ，We are sorry。嗯。好吧，那就请你寻找到你比较适合的位置，尽量分散流量，以避免网络的频宽塞车。第二个，麻烦你，哎、欸，不要带食物哈，或者是带进来，不要打开它啊，可能因为你的香气会影响大家听的一个权利。另外呢，也麻烦你，请你把手机关机或转为震动，以免影响到我们讲者的权利啊，不然你开的话会吵到一些不该吵的东西。好，那接下来呢，我们就要准备展现你的热情，用力的掌声，欢迎我们的讲者 Sasha。谢谢，谢谢，杨尼奥。Well, first of all, I have to apologize because during last year's、uh, Coscap, I I promised to have my introduction at least in Mandarin, and I failed miserably.、Uh, I still、uh, can only speak, like say, some twenty words, only the important things like. Your mayo pijo and all these things, and、uh, so I'm 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 absolutely sorry. And even though that I'm living over here now for one and a half years,、uh, I promise you I'm going to give it a try next year again. So、um, uh, last year I've been talking about、uh, Linux and、uh, cloud computing, and this year I just would like to talk about. Well, actually, for the most of us, it's kind of common sense.、Uh, I don't want to talk about computers. I don't want to talk about software in general. I just would like to talk to you what this conference is all about, and what open source is all about, and which is basically the culture of sharing. So, what 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 is culture? And of course, you know, the first thing that you're going to do is maybe looking it up on Wikipedia. And the definition of Wikipedia is a set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution, organization, or group. Interesting that there's already share in there. Or the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, and behavior that depends upon the capacity of symbolic thought and social learning.、Um, the word "culture" comes from the Latin word "cultura" or "colere." I had Latin in, in in school for six weeks.、Uh, six weeks, yeah. Well, actually, I can speak it like I had it for six weeks.、Uh, I had it for six years, and it nearly break my neck because. Uh, uh, I was pretty lazy in learning all these terms over there, but anyways, cultura and colera. When we are、uh, looking at the real meaning of them, it means to cultivate, or to inhabit, even to admire. But it also means to care, which is quite interesting, because、uh, some people are always saying、uh, sharing is caring, or caring is sharing, which is quite interesting. Because that's what we are actually doing all the time, and that's why we are over here on such a conference. Because、uh, we're trying to share our knowledge, we try to make new experiences and new contacts.、Um, when I started to make my content on NetbookNews.com completely open source,、uh, it's not even under license anymore. Where we have, we're using Creative Commons license for our videos. The rest of our content is completely free, so everyone can monetize it. Because we mainly wanted to get away from this culture of mine, 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 just only me. It was a matter of of sharing finally. And when we did this, and when we started to create content over mobile computing devices、uh, from Taiwan. And then reaching out to the Western markets because we have a we have an English block and we also have a German block.、Um, the first thing, especially in Europe, that I faced with free content、uh, was was this over here. Like 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 people thought I'm 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 stealing something away from them, right? Because I I just wanted to give and I was kind of stumbling upon them with free content instead of always making. Making sure, hey, that's that's my co my content, and if someone else had this content too, people were becoming jealous instead of cooperating with each other and sharing your knowledge and sharing your content. 
and that that's that's basically what happened to me is uh, uh, you all know the story of the netbooks and the EPC over here from ASUS when they came to the market uh, about two years ago. Well, actually, it's almost three right now. Um, I've had I've had pretty much the first EPC, and no one in no one in Germany or the U.S. had one. And when I when I did my reviews and I wrote my content over the first EPC, and a couple of sites were even banning me out of their forums because you know I had the content that they didn't have. And I thought, hey, something is weird over here. Why are people are not embracing you? Why are people are not willing to share? So they they were mainly jealous because uh, of someone having different content than them. So that's, that, that's where it all sh uh, changed for us. We said, okay, then it needs to be different. And it needs to be something that we took from, from the open source community. Well, I had my, my own embedded Linux distribution uh, based on Gentoo back in 2004. And uh, I said, you know, why, why can't I only share software? Why, why, why can't I share content? And right now we have this discussion where huge publishers are trying to hide their content behind paid walls, right? It's not going to happen. They will lose. So for us, it was all about sharing, and that's why we are starting to share our content. So it's not about sharing content. You can share whatever you want, right? As you can see over here, I'm not sure if you want to share your ice cream with your little puppy, um, but anyways, it looks kind of cute. Or you can share... Uh, a big sandwich, if you want to. Or we can also do. We can also share materials. We can do. We you know car sharing, or we have that over here in Taipei too, right? Where we can where we can share bikes. Of course, you know this is this is somehow a uh, little bit uh, controversial for the copyright industry, not for traditional file sharing, but mainly when you're heading over to the pirate bay. So, but anyways, the Pirate Bay is not about piracy. Of course, it's a kind of controversial term. But first of all, it's about sharing. And it's, it's up to us what, what we are sharing. So if I'm sharing copyright material over there, you know, it's not, it, it's not a matter of the Pirate Bay. So the way our whole culture sh changed in just, in just two years how we like to share, how we like to share whatever we see, whatever we're experiencing, of course changed radically with the so-called social medias and social networks. Whether we're sharing our, I don't know, I think it's about 70 or 80 million status updates a day on, uh, on Facebook, actually just in the US, right, which has about 130 million Facebook uh, users while globally we're at 500 millions. So we're sharing our statuses on Facebook. And uh, we're doing updates on Twitter over here on Plurk. And we're sharing our pictures on Flickr. And people are pretty much broadcasting themselves on YouTube. This is also something that we are doing. We're doing a lot of YouTube content. So we are willing to share what we are experiencing. And these opportunities that we have with these platforms, that changed so much in just a short time period. And it's just amazing how much content is getting produced and how much free content is getting produced. That wasn't happening like three years ago. It just, it just came up recently still. But it's not about sharing personal things. I think by the end of the day, and that's, that's why we are at a conference, like the cost gap over here, and that's why we can also see if we compare the cost gap from this year to last year's cost gap. I think it, grew, it was growing by 400% or something like that. It is way bigger this year because people are interested in sharing. People are interested to network, and people want to know. I want to meet new people. I want to get new influences. So sharing knowledge is very important for us in this community. I mean, these are just a few examples of what happened by sharing knowledge. These are one of the biggest, the biggest or most popular programs on their markets, or most popular platforms. 
I mean, even WordPress is, is open source. And it was, it was created by a couple of hundreds or thousands of developers because they were sharing their knowledge for free again. All of this is freely available. Think about what's happening with Android right now. If someone would say, like two years ago, you know what, Google is coming up with a mobile device operating system. And by the summer of 2010, they will sell 200,000 devices a day. Because that's what they're basically doing right now. So 200,000 smartphones with Google Android getting sold a day, every day. Well, first of all, this is, of course, a number that comes from the Google PR uh, office. But I'm pretty sure it, it's going to be accurate, especially when I see the momentum that Android has over here in, in the Asian and also especially in the Taiwanese developer community. It's just amazing. So GIMP and, and Firefox. Firefox has a market share of, of way over 20% for an open source browser. It's a little bit different in Europe. I think in, in Europe where we are around 50% of market share. So just by p because people got together and they were believing in a project and they were sharing their knowledge. And of course, I think the best example for, uh, let's say, swarm intelligence is Wikipedia. I remember these very controversial discussions between like Encyclopedia Britannica and Wikipedia a couple of years ago, where they tried to convince people, you know, you need to have a kind of instance on top of it that is going to control the content, because Wikipedia is controlling itself. So what happened in just a few years is that we have a free encyclopedia on the web 